Okay, so it's been two years since I've been to Greenfield Village and so I'm here today and I had bought a membership, a year membership and the ride pass and yeah, I'm excited to see what it's like today. In an old building, lots of sound effects. That was called the Rickert Wagon Shop. That's where they used to build wagons. There's a lot of old buildings here and a few of my favorite buildings are the Wright Cycle Company, the Wright Brothers. So I'm gonna go in there and I would also love the glass blowing and the ceramic paintings. So hopefully I'll have a chance to show you that. This is my favorite shop here. This is the bicycle shop. this for my first airplane. <laughs> a very nice house with a wraparound porch that the Wright brothers grew up in. It was called the Greenfield Village Tin Type Studio for photographs and this is what I, it looked like from the outside. I just read that this studio was built in one day at Greenfield Village to imitate what the studios where people used to get photographs. And so this is what it looks like. So that is the background there. And this is where they would take photographs. And it's just a room with a lot of windows so that they could let in natural light. And there was a room behind where they could get dressed up for their picture. So that's pretty cool. Here's a cute little family. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, she had one less child than I did. Look how cute they are waddling along. There's always the straggler back here. As you saw, our second favorite thing to do is the glass blowing, and now we're going on the train ride. Everybody loves a train ride. You can also go over to, uh, this comes from Tidewater, Maryland, originally comprised of 700 acres. In 1832, so it's been some mechanic ready to go for the summer. All the vegetables raised here are cooked in and we're going to go down. This is what's standard procedure on all operating steam locomotives. This was the easiest way of eliminating the Detroit River Tunnel Company. That is a huge hook on the end there. And 
it says right here, 1914, Bay City, Michigan. And here comes the train. Going to have an orange snack today so i've got this and bubbly so it's gonna be my orange snack i haven't had butter made barbecue chips in so long and i cannot believe how good these are they really are better made look at all these chives this is a childhood memory we always had chives in our garden at home It's like being a kid. Yeah, so as I'm walking through Greenfield Village, I'm recalling how I was here for school field trips when I was seven years old. And it was my favorite place to come. The covered bridge and the Wright Brothers building was my most memorable places in Greenfield Village. But then my kids kind of had come here for school field trips. And now my grandchildren are coming for school field trips. So it's amazing. This place never gets old. It's old, but it never gets old. So this is what an old cider mill looked like. Folks could haul their apples to a cider mill like this one in a nearby town or village. This is very cool. The cider making equipment in this building came from a mill in Martinsville, Michigan, about 25 miles southwest of here. Without a mill like this one close by, farm families could use a smaller portable press at home to process their apples, but a lot of farmers would bring them here because they had so many. As American, it's apple pie. It's apple cider. Look at this big old fashioned barn. I'm gonna walk up and see what's in here. Mm, it smells like a barn. Sounds like a barn. activity itself, shaping and manipulating hot iron using hammer and anvil, and in terms of the trade's place in the community. Even the tiniest village or settlement needed the services of a blacksmith to make essential items. Hinges, nails, door latches, the kind of thing we're now used to buying in any hardware shop.
Okay, so to end this video, going to Greenfield Village was a great way to get my 10,000 steps. I made a little bit over 10,000. I'll put the picture up now. And I just want to say I love you all and I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.